How's it going, everybody? Uh, the first time I did this, it didn't turn out too good, so I didn't upload it to YouTube. But uh, this is an all-new first-time video, and this video I'm reminiscing about the uh, first time I uh, checked out the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's way back in the spring of 86. I was uh, 12, going on 13, and we got a VCR. Uh, Christmas of 85, and I was renting horror movies uh, left and right, whatever I could get my hands on, and uh, I had always wanted to see uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but uh, my mom would never rent it because uh, fear of it being too gory, and uh, it, it was the spring of 86, and it started to be the uh, third movie on the uh, triple bills at the uh, drive-in, at our local drive-in, and it was the third movie on a double bill with the first two Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and uh, of course we didn't stay for it, and then uh, over the summer uh, I had borrowed a uh, rented copy that uh, my aunt had, and I watched it that day, and twice in one day, and liked it, and uh, that same year, that summer, the sequel had come out, but uh, I was too young to check it out uh, because it was unrated, and uh, back then they had that uh, no one under 17 admitted uh, slogan on the, on the ads, and uh, I finally checked it out a year later when it came out on video, and the uh, sequel was excellent, and then uh, I had rented the original again in 88, until uh, a couple years later, I uh, bought a bargain copy of it uh, for uh, nine bucks, uh, which was the uh, Video Treasures version, which had the uh, artwork from the Media Home Entertainment version, and uh, also that same year, the third one had come out, which was uh, also pretty good, and um, I got the uh, DV, I got the original uh, DVD uh, version, the MPI version, uh, which had the uh, artwork of uh, Leatherface and the uh, Girl on the Hook until 2006 when this came out, and I picked it up in a heartbeat. And uh, I like the uh, steelbook look of this, and it's got a whole shitload full of extras. And then, of course, when the Blu-ray came out and I got my uh, small Blu-ray player, I picked this up for nine bucks and it was uh, still around. And uh, sadly, this is out of print. I just heard recently from Blade Disgusting's uh, website that uh, New Line uh, Warner Home Video is re-releasing this as a 40th anniversary Blu-ray. And uh, sadly, the fourth one, which was the next generation, sucked, and it pretty much killed the uh, Chainsaw franchise until 2003, uh, when the remake came out, and I thought it was pretty good, and uh, it definitely wasn't bad at all, and uh, I like the fact that it was set in the uh, 70s, because if it was set in the uh, new millennium, it just wouldn't do, and the uh, prequel was uh, pretty good also, and uh, I had heard that the uh, movie is going to come out in 3D, the original movie is going to come out in 3D in the fall, which I don't think I'm going to be too keen on seeing, I mean, if a movie is going to come out in 3D, why not make it a uh, movie that's fresh, you know what I mean? And I've got some uh, Chainsaw Massacre figures uh, that I've shown in previous videos, and I'm sure uh, some of you uh, have seen them, but uh, those of you who haven't seen them, check out my uh, toy figure videos. Anyway, uh, this is Ron here, uh, signing out, and uh, until then, you all take care.